Yeah, man. <laughs> Ready or not. So my first question, do you still get goosebumps when you hear the rocket theme? Uh, yeah, of course. I mean, it's one of those iconic ones that just gives you a visceral feeling. When the first Creed three posters came out, there was there was you in the ring and there was Jonathan Majors in the ring, mm -hmm. and fans went berserk. They saw Killmonger versus Kong. Mm -hmm, Did mm -hmm. you expect that that reaction that went vi viral like that? I mean, I knew it was going to go viral because the images were so strong, you know. And Jonathan, you know, looks amazing. You know, I thought it really set the tone for our, you know our marketing rollout. Um, I didn't know the fans were going to do all those mashups and stuff like that. But then it dawned on me, I said, oh yeah, we're both in the you know Marvel universe. I get that. That makes sense. And it just uh, it just shows how um, strong these characters are and, and how much love the fans have for the movies. Where is rocking this story? Where, where can we imagine he, he be? Like, is he at home? Is he is he dead? Or did, do you have an idea? Or No, I'm not sure. I think it was really important to me to, you know, treat this like an origin story for Creed. You know, it's the third movie. The first film was, you know, very much so about Rocky and, 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 Ap and Apollo and Adonis, you know, accepting who he was in his name. I think the second film was more or less Adonis getting out of uh, Apollo Creed's shadow, you know, and, and, and owning, you know, who he, who he is. And so the third film was really, really important for me to go back to Adonis's past. So you understand those transformative years of who he was as a kid and his friendships, his childhood trauma, uh, his protectors who taught him how to fight. That was where we wanted to start the story so we can move forward and pick him up present day. And you understand why he is the way he is. Why doesn't he talk? You know, why doesn't he want to communicate about these things? Can move forward with the franchise. Could we see more Creed in the future? I mean, is that your idea? Yeah, for sure. You know, I mean, I think building out the Creed verse is something that I'm really excited about doing. There's so many different platforms where you can tell different stories without trying to cram everything in a two-hour movie. So you have television, you have spinoffs. You know, there's 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 comic books, there's graphic novels, there's animation, you have video games. You know, it's such a rich IP. Yeah. So I think I'm really excited. I'm of the generation and of the mindset to, to do so. This is a war. It's a fight. It's a battle. So, how long have you known each other? So now, as a director, do you feel responsible the way you're showing the boxing world? And yeah, of course. When you're, when you're acting in something, you don't have full control of the vision, so it's not really your responsibility at the, for the final product. It's your responsibility to deliver within that movie. I think when you direct, you know, it's your responsibility to have a, the whole thing together um, in a way that's your vision. You know, boxing is something that I want to, I really wanted to honor the sport, you know, from, you know, bringing, you know, a Mexican influence into the franchises that's never been had before, but boxing in Mexico is, is such a, the culture, it means so much to the sport. And also just keep to the, you know, the, um, the realism of it and, and, and honor the, the culture. Uh, it was something that I really wanted to do. You can't hide. I want it all. As a boxer, do you have like a favorite move or a favorite punch? I mean, you know, that, that straight right was something that I really enjoyed, you know, which is why it's such a, you know, a, a, a moment within within the movie. You know, you hear Damien talk about it, you know, in the beginning of the movie, and the straight right is probably one of, one of my favorite punches. Yeah, yeah man. Well, merci beaucoup. Thank you very yeah, much. Thanks. Hey, I'm just getting started, little brother. I'm coming for everything. Let him destroy everything you've built. Ready or not. Yeah, man.